Okay, let's talk about issuing bonds at a discount. So as a reminder, this would mean that the contract rate is less than the market rate. That is, the interest rate that's written on the bond is less than what you could get out there in the general market. Therefore, it's going to be issued at a discount. Okay, so on January 1, Coal Corporation issued a 1,006% five-year bond that pays in semi-annual interest for $900. So the fact that we're going to only be getting $900 for our $1,000 bond tells us it's at a discount. So, on January 1, we received cash, and we know that we received it $900 because it says that we issued it for $900. I'm going to skip a line because I want to make the point that the amount that we're going to repay is always the face value. So what you'll credit to bonds payable will always be the face value. The difference is going to either be a discount or a premium. And in this situation, since we need an extra debit in order to balance, we know that this is a discount. You can remember that a discount has a normal debit balance. D and D. Discount has a normal debit balance. So if you need a debit to balance, it's a discount. You would have also known that because you got less than what you have to repay. That makes it a discount. All right, so let's keep going. Um, we've learned how to calculate the discount. That was the difference in the cash received. So we received $900. The face value of that bond was $1,000. And so your discount was $100, and we can see it right there. It shows up as a, a negative just because of the way that I put it in, but if it was a positive, it would have been a premium. If it was a negative, it would be a discount. All right, let's keep going. The next thing says that we need to journalize the first interest payment. So six months later, we have an interest payment and the amortization of our discount. So we need to talk about what that word means. Amortization is very much like depreciation. I always like to say it whittles down. So we start off right now with a discount of $100 in total. And what we want to do is we want to get rid of it over the life of the bond. So here's how we're going to do that. It's called straight line amortization. All right. If you look down here, I've made us a little note. Amortization of discount equals the discount. That's $100. And the number of periods. So this is a five-year bond, and we're going to amortize it twice a year. So every six months, we're going to amortize it at the same time we pay that interest. So that's going to be 10 years. I can just say the five-year bond times twice a year. Five times two is 10. So the number of periods of this bond will be 10. And then the amount to amortize will be 100 divided by 10. So every single payment period, we're going to amortize this bond by $10. All right, here's how we're going to amortize it. Discount has a normal debit balance, and we want to reduce that balance evenly over the life of the bond. So every single six months, we're going to credit it for $10 until it's gone. That's what we mean by amortize. All right, so let's do this. All right, so on June the 30th, we're going to make the first interest payment. Let's just start off with interest expense. And then we're going to amortize our discount by crediting it. And then we're going to pay out cash. I'm going to tell you about each of these. Cash is the easiest one, so I'm going to start right there. Every single six months, we're going to pay the same interest as we would, regardless of whether or not this was a discount or a premium, because it's always going to be calculated by the face value. That's still 1000 Times the 6%. That's still the contract interest rate. Times half a year. So we're still going to always pay these people their $30. The difference is that over time, we're going to get rid of this discount. So we're going to amortize our discount by $10. And watch what that does to our interest expense. We're going to add that to our interest expense. It doesn't affect what the people got. The people got $30 from us. But for us, that actually represents additional interest expense to us. Because that discount, the fact that we received less money up front, was actually because our contract weight was lower than what we really needed to pay them out there in the market. That's why you can remember that a discount adds to interest expense. All right. The last part of this problem asks us to retire this bond at the end of its life. So in five years, what will we do? Well, let's look and see what happens. On the day that we actually issued this bond, we had um, created a bonds payable of $1,000. 
and a discount of $100. So right now we would be able to say that our value of our bond is um, the credit of 1000 and a debit of 100 So our carrying value of this bond right now is $900. That is, the bond's payable less its discount is $900. So then the first semi-annual interest payment period, we reduce that discount by amortizing it by $10, and we did that for each of the years afterwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. For all 10 periods, which was 5 years. So if we do that, and let me go ahead and get a little subtotal here. 100 minus all of these, which equal 100, gives us 0. So at the end of the life, we have amortized the entire discount, and our carrying value is now this $1,000. So here's how we're going to retire this bond. It's going to be to reduce bonds payable by the $1,000 that we owe to these people, and we're going to credit cash, and we're going to repay them their $1,000. We don't have to do anything with our discount because it has been amortized and moved into interest expense every six months throughout the life of the bond. So this is how we account for the issuance of the bond at a discount, the payment of interest expense as well as the amortization of discount every period until the bond is due, and then the retirement of the bond, that is the re repayment of the bond at the end of the five years. So let me know if you have any questions. The next video will be the same thing, but how to account for it if it is a premium.